For Ruler Lesson 6, we looked at hot and cool emotional states. And I want to start off with an analogy from another time, a time called the 1980s. Now, I know you weren't around in the 1980s. I'm an old guy. I was. And McDonald's sold a hamburger called the McDLT. And their slogan was, keeping the hot side hot and the cool side cool. And it was actually a good idea. So you'd get the burger, and it had two halves in a styrofoam container. And you have the meat patty that was nice and hot, but then you had the lettuce and tomato that was cool. And then you'd put them together and enjoy a tasty burger. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about McDonald burgers that haven't been sold in 30 years, here's the point. Human beings both possess a hot side and a cool side. Okay, if you get that. Okay, now this model is called the hot cool model. And we're going to look into that today. And we're going to start off by plotting your present emotion on the mood meter. So your teacher can click on this link and everybody can express the emotional state they are feeling at the moment. And um, while you are doing that, the teacher will give you a T-chart to see where the class is emotionally. So once everybody plots their emotion, we're going to put it on a T-chart, hot states and cold states. But you don't know what the definitions are. So allow me to elucidate you with the definitions. Okay, hot states. These are emotions that cause our decision making to be quick, reactive, and reliance on simple emotions require little thought. Oftentimes they're called knee jerk reactions. You don't really think you're just going on emotion and you just kind of are in the moment and it's very impulsive. That's a hot state. Now a cold state are emotions that cause our decision making to be slower, more thoughtful, more intentional, and emotionally neutral. So you can probably figure out by now which emotional state's going to get you into trouble and which emotional state's going to keep you out of trouble. So anyway, now that you have the definition of what a hot state is and a cold state is, plot your classmates' emotions on this chart. Those classmates that chose hot emotions, I shouldn't say chose, or maybe are feeling hot emotions, and those that are feeling cold. And break down percentage-wise what the class is, a little sneaky math for you, okay? Now, I need you to be able to recognize, understand, label, and express these emotions. Now, I didn't get to the final R in ruler, just the first four, which brings us to the question, how can you regulate hot emotions so you don't get yourself in trouble, where you're um, being highly emotional and impulsive cause some difficulties for you. So I want to give you a couple techniques to regulate. There's the R in ruler, the regulate. So I'm going to give you a couple, and there's more than this, but these might work for you. There are many different breathing techniques, okay? There's lazy eight breathing, spiral breathing, soup breathing, bubble breathing. Now, the reason why breathing helps, it slows things down, okay? If you can control your breath it can calm your body if you're feeling in a heightened emotional state so explore different breathing techniques uh, maybe your teacher knows one that he or she feels is the best technique but breathing does work this other one is quite simple it's called the 24 hour rule if you have a major decision or a tough conversation or you know a major event in your life it's oftentimes best to wait 24 hours before approaching it. Now, in that 24 hours, you can slowly and calmly reflect and weigh the pros and the cons so you make the best decision for you in the end. Okay, so that's a quite simple one. You simply wait 24 hours before you make a major decision or have a major conversation. Okay, so those are two techniques. Here's two more. Try to remove yourself from the stimuli that is causing the hot emotional state. Now, I know that's not always possible, especially in a school setting, but oftentimes, you know, with my students at least, if a student is in a heightened emotional state, they may ask to take a walk or go to the water fountain and cool down or talk to a different teacher that makes them feel comfortable or just simply walk away. And this expression here, I think, is... Um, something to take to heart. Never forget that walking away from something unhealthy is brave, even if you stumble a little on your way out the door. In other words, it's not easy. I get that it's not easy, but removing yourself from that thing that's putting you in a hot emotional state, if you can, can oftentimes bring you to that cool emotional state. And the last one I'm going to show you today, physical activity. Now, there is a mind-body connection. If you have all these 
you know, hot emotions and you take a long walk, okay, you play basketball, you play volleyball, you do whatever you enjoy doing, but once you get that physical energy out, oftentimes you go from a hot emotional state to a cold emotional state, and here's some evidence to the point. Now, this green here are people who are physically active, and this is a, this is a typical work week. People start off, and by Friday, they're feeling it a little bit, but notice the people who are physically active are the least stressed. They're in those cool emotional states where those who don't exercise stay in those hot emotional states. So any combination of these four should help you regulate those hot emotions, okay? And it's okay. We all as human beings experience hot emotions. That's part of being human. However, as you develop your skills and your techniques, you can regulate yourself to be in an emotional state that's more agreeable to you. So anyway, now that we're done with this, we are going to write our journal entry. And it reads, reflect on the thoughts and actions people engage in when they are in hot emotional states, okay? What strategies, both short-term and long-term, can people employ in order to respond in a way that is more helpful for their relationship and mental health and well-being? In other words, um, how do people act when they're in hot emotional states? And what can you do to regulate those emotions when they happen, okay? So hopefully this was helpful for you, and I appreciate you watching.